Tools of Word Processor Microsoft Word is a word processing software that allows us to create documents that can contain both text and pictures. You can use it to type letters, notes, poems, stories and many different types of documents. In the previous grade, you learned how to create and save a document in MS Word. In this chapter, you will learn about some important editing tools of Word program. Features of Word 2016 Word program is developed by Microsoft. Word program can be used to do the following. Type letters, stories, reports and so on in a simple way. Copy, move and delete the text as per the need. Save documents for future use. Change text case in a document. Check the document for spelling and grammatical errors. Insert pictures in a document. Before moving further, let us now recall some topics learnt in the previous grade. Starting MS Word To start Word 2016, click on the Start button, Word. Creating a new document To create a new document, follow the given steps. Click on the File tab, select the New option in the list. In the New screen, choose the Blank Document option. A new blank document opens on the screen. You can now work in it. Saving a document To save a document, do as follows. Click on the File tab. In the left pane, select the Save option or click on the Save button present on the Quick Access toolbar. In the Save As screen, double-click on this PC option or click on the Browse option. In the Save As dialog box, go to the File Name box and type a suitable name for the document. Click on the Save button. Note, the file extension .docs is automatically added after the saved Word file name. Editing a document Editing refers to making changes in the text within a document. Editing a document includes inserting new text, selecting text, copying and moving text, deleting text, checking spelling and grammar. Let us now learn how to edit a document. Inserting new text In a document, adding new text in between the existing text is called inserting text. You can easily insert new text at any point in an existing document. To do so, place the cursor at the position where you wish to add the new text. Now start typing the new text. Notice, once the new text is inserted, the existing text after the cursor is automatically shifted towards the right. Selecting text If you wish to make any changes in the existing text, you first need to select it. The text can be selected by using a mouse or a keyboard. Selecting text using a mouse This table lists some of the methods to select the text using a mouse. Selecting text using a keyboard This table lists some of the key combinations to select text using a keyboard. Deleting the text To delete a character, press either the delete key or backspace key. The delete key removes the character to the right of the cursor position, whereas the backspace key removes the character to the left of the cursor position. To delete a block of text, select the text and then press either the delete key or the backspace key. Copying and moving text Sometimes we need to repeat some text at more than one location or shift some part of the text from one location to another. In such a situation, the cut, copy and paste commands are used. Let us discuss these commands in detail. Copying text The copy command creates a duplicate of the original text. The paste command is used to insert the copied text to a new location. The steps to copy text 
are as follows. Select the text to be copied. It gets highlighted in a grey bar. Click on the copy option in the clipboard group on the home tab. Place the cursor at the position where a copy of the selected text is to be inserted. Click on the paste option in the clipboard group on the home tab. Moving text. The cut command is used to remove the text from its original location. The paste command is used to insert the cut text to a new location. The steps to move text are given here. Select the text to be moved to the new location. Click on the cut option in the clipboard group on the home tab. Place the cursor at the position where the text is to be moved. Click on the paste option in clipboard group on the home tab. The text moves from its original location to a new location. Undo and redo commands. The undo command is used to cancel the last action. This button is present on the quick access toolbar. For example, we deleted a word from a document. Now we want to get it back at the exact same location. To do so, press the undo command on the quick access toolbar. The redo command is used to restore the action undone by using the undo command. In other words, it is used to redo the action that was undone. The redo command is also present on the quick access toolbar. Using spelling and grammar feature We might make mistakes while typing text. Word helps us in identifying our mistakes in a document. The spelling errors in a document are indicated by red wavy underlines. The contextual or grammatical errors in a document are indicated by blue wavy underlines. The spelling and grammar feature helps in checking for spelling and grammatical mistakes in the entire document. The steps to check for a spelling error are given here. Select the misspelled word or simply place the cursor on it. Go to the review tab. Click on the spelling and grammar option in the proofing group. The spelling pane appears on the right side of the document window. For each error in the document, Word offers one or more suggestions. Select a suggestion and perform any one of the following operations. Click on the change button to correct the error. Click on the change all button to replace all occurrences of the misspelled word with the selected word in the suggested list. Click on the ignore once or ignore all button if no corrections are required. Click on the add button to add the word to the dictionary. When a word is added to the dictionary, word no longer highlights it as a misspelled word. When word is through with the spelling check, it displays a message box. Click yes to complete the process. The steps to check for a grammatical error are given here. Select the grammatical error or simply place the cursor on it. Go to the review tab. Click on the spelling and grammar option in the proofing group. The entire sentence gets highlighted in grey. The grammar pane appears on the right side of the document window. Click on the change button to correct the error. Using thesaurus, Word has an inbuilt dictionary called thesaurus. It is used to look for words with the similar meanings, synonyms and opposites, antonyms for a particular word. Thesaurus feature helps in improving vocabulary and also suggests suitable words for correct sentence formation. The steps to use thesaurus are Select the word or place the cursor on the word to look for its synonym. On the review tab, click on the thesaurus option in the proofing group. A list of synonyms and antonyms, if any, appears in the thesaurus task pane on the right side of the window. To replace the word with the suitable synonym, place the pointer over the desired word. It gets highlighted. Click on the down arrow next to the word and select the insert option. The existing word gets replaced by the selected synonym. Quick Recall Microsoft Word is a word processing software. 
It is developed by Microsoft. Editing refers to making changes in the text within a document. Delete key removes the character to the right of the cursor position. On the other hand, Backspace key removes the character to the left of the cursor position. Copy option is used to create a duplicate of the selected text. Cut command is used to remove the selected text from its original location. Paste command is used to insert the copied or cut text to a new location. Undo command is used to cancel the last action. Whereas, redo command is used to restore the action undone using the undo command. Spelling and grammar feature checks for spelling and grammar errors in the entire document. Thesaurus feature works like a dictionary which is used to look for words with the similar meanings, synonyms and opposites, antonyms, for a particular word. 